Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, Antutu test on the Galaxy S4 versus the S3. And as you can see, I already put the prior, uh, I just ran this test previously. And you can see the number here for the S4 is 27,000 something and the S3 is 11,000 something. I'm going to go to run the test again. And every time it, the, the numbers come out like slightly different, I'm not sure why I didn't change any of the settings. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead. So again, this is the S4. We're going to test again. Yeah, here's the S3. So we're going to go ahead and go for it. And for some reason, uh, every once in a while when I do it on my S4, I'm not sure when I, when I run this uh, Antutu benchmark test, my phone completely shuts off. And it's not like my battery power is down or anything. It just shuts off. So um, I suspect it definitely has something to do with the uh, that actual app. So we'll go ahead and let this run for a while. And we'll see exactly where the marks are. And this is, by the way, this is a U.S. Uh, phone. Uh, Samsung X, uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. It's so it's a US. Go, pretty much, uh, they use the uh, Snapdragon processor, and it's a T-Mobile uh, phone, and this is also a uh, T-Mobile as well, and they're both unrooted. They're not rooted or anything. They're bo both uh, stock phones, and yeah, I I still love both of these phones. You know, between the S4 and S3, I mean, yeah, I just can't wait till the uh, S5 uh, comes out. It should be coming out, like, uh, right now it's February. It should be coming out probably uh, probably like late March. So I'll, I'll let this keep running, and we'll see if the numbers, like, match up again. And I'm actually really anticipating on getting the uh, the Note 3. So I don't know if I'm going to get the uh, S5 first or the Note 3. I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to be able... I mean, how long are you actually going to have to wait once the S5 is out? I mean, chances are they're going to be sold out. And there's going to be a, a waiting list. So we'll see what happens. And one of the big reasons why I upgraded to the S4 is because um, it comes with a 13 megapixel camera versus the uh, 8 megapixels on the S3. Because I just wanted to get better uh, photos, you know. I have a friend that uh, he has the S4 and he used the S4 to make like a canvas, like a, uh, I don't know, 12, like one foot by two feet. And it came out like, like, like a professional quality photo. So I definitely wanted to upgrade my camera. Wow, interesting. Okay, so let me show you this one here. Well, as we're waiting for the S3 to load, I'll take a look over here. You can see that my uh, this is my Galaxy S4 T-Mobile, this uh, SGHM919, and it's below the HTC One, but up here you have the Galaxy S4. So, but it scored 21, 484, and you can see. Wow, interesting. Just uh, like three minutes ago, it was 27,000. 27,000, now it's uh, 2184. I mean, what is that, like 6,000 points less? Well, let's take a look at the uh, Galaxy S3 now. Uh, let's see, where's, oh wow, interesting, look at this. Okay, here, so here's my device here, it's a S3. It's a, a T9, T999, which is a T-Mobile in the USA. And the Galaxy S3 is actually up higher than which mine is performed out. And this is a genuine phone. And let's see the actual details. Okay, so now this time for this one, it's uh looks like the number showed is eleven two two three, and up here it's uh 
from like three minutes ago was eleven two one three. So if you guys keep running your uh, your and two two benchmark, you can see uh, pretty much you're going to be getting like different results every every time. And I haven't changed like nothing. I left the phone exactly like this, and I just kept running it over and over and over, and it just come, kept coming out with different numbers. A couple times it came out with the same numbers, but this is a dramatic difference between the S four here. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I just want to take note of that. And also, I read that, you know, a lot of these manufacturers are actually, um, you know, since this is like the main benchmark test is Antutu, it's very popular. Everyone uses it. That in their firmware upgrades, they're actually uh, tweaking it so that you can get like higher numbers on their particular phones. And then Antutu comes out and they come up with their updates like daily to do, I mean, who knows what. Anyways, that's it. If you guys have any comments or anything, uh, just comment below. Thanks. Bye.